To make a pom-pom on your embroidery, you're going to start with the area that you'd like your pom-pom to be, illustrated by this little dot, but it will be, you know, a color or the center of a flower, or wherever it instructs you to do that. So you come out um, through the back, come up, and you're going to start making loops up and down through the same or similar area. So we're gonna come down and we're gonna leave oh, about a half inch or so as a loop like this on the outside. So we're gonna do that six times. So that's one. Holding the stitches down like I'm doing with my thumb really helps to keep those all organized. Okay, so this is our last loop. Six. Okay, I'm just going to quickly loop this through all those threads and cut, cut my tail. Okay, so now that you have your little loops, you're going to shape it with scissors. So I have my little embroidery scissors and I'm going to like cut, not too short, but start with about a fourth of an inch down here. And then you just kind of cut and shape it to where the center is a little longer and the sides are a little shorter. So if you prefer, you can change the amount of loops to make either a thinner or a fuller pom-pom. And that is totally customizable depending on the design that you're working on. So one thing uh, about this technique is like you'll have all these little fuzzies all over your embroidery. So the easiest thing to do is to get a little bit of masking tape looped around your fingers and just quickly dot it around to clean up your design and it won't mess up any of your other stitches and you'll have a really nice clean non-fuzzy design. We would love for you to join us here each week, so don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can find out as soon as our next video drops. Find us over on Instagram at Antiquary Design, and if you found this video helpful, hit the like button or comment and let us know. Thanks again!